In a column written for the Financial Times, Robin Lane Fox, an emeritus professor of New College, wrote that a woman's dress should be an apparently stormable fortress. Sparking controversy across the university and once again drawing attention on sexism and equality in Oxford University, we went to the Oxford Union Board to interview several attendees about this statement. It should be about what the woman wants and what the woman likes. If it's metal, if it's what did Lady Gaga dress up as and bacon, you know, whatever <laughs> floats your boat. I've never, I don't know, I don't know how to characterise a, a woman's dress. I don't think too much about it, to be honest. I do feel that it's easy to become a victim of fashion, where you try to emulate what you see on television and film. I have had encounters at Oxford with people who have sort of remarked on what I'm wearing, saying, oh, this isn't as conservative as you normally dress. Are you trying to entice men? I mean, I think we dress for everyone. I don't think we just dress for men. It's an interesting concept that, for instance, I'm told what I'm going to wear. I'm going to wear a tux. It's black tie. I can literally type black tie into Wikipedia, and I know what I'm wearing. And um, a woman has many other options many of which can be controversial. Men want, maybe want women to dress one way, and if a woman wants to dress to please a man at the same time, if they both have the same, like they're both going for the same thing, then it's not a man trying to control a woman, it's a man and a woman trying to find common ground. It's kind of along think, the same don't. lines of like, I guess strategic modesty, where you're not showing at all, but you're just showing a little bit. Which even that though, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily agree with that in the same way, because you're still doing it for some purpose of like gaining intrigue, sexual intrigue. So I, mean, I wouldn't necessarily agree with the statement. It's positive in the sense that it's, it, it, it connotes the fact that the woman is highly attractive and, and she deserves... Hard to get. Yeah, and hard to get. And she, she, deserve, she deserves a sort of superhuman effort. Miss Elaine Fox was not available for interview, but he told the Cherwell that he was echoing the words of a famous designer and he meant to say apparently impregnable rather than stormable. Perhaps it was just an innocent remark that was blown out of proportion. This is Jenny Han reporting for the Cherwell.